Access Officer here at the University of Limerick. And I would like to welcome you all to the annual President's Access Scholars Awards and the launch of the John E. Maloney Scholarship. It gives me particular pleasure to welcome the friends and family of the students who have joined us. And so, I am now going to call on the President to address you and to present the President's Access Scholars Award. Thank you very much, Deirdre. Jaheef. <laughs> very warm welcome to the students, your parents, your friends, but also to the family of John F. Maloney. Uh, it gives me the greatest of pleasure to see you all attend this important event in the university's calendar because, as we know, it's a calling card for this institution that anyone who could go to university should go to university. For a long number of years, that has remained an important statement for UL, for our community, and for society. It is our long-standing commitment here at University of Limerick that we will ensure that those words are followed to the best of our ability. And today, I take really great pleasure in reaffirming that commitment to you and to our community. In our recent past, we have faced many challenges and a differing landscape. Unity and commitment allows us to collectively succeed, but not without a great deal of support. We also remain committed to, sorry, but support. As, uh, as a community of scholars, professionals, and neighbors, we remain steadfast in our commitments to education, knowledge production and sharing, and uh, also to uh, a creative inquiry. We also remain committed to our students, to our academic and professional staff, and to those who support us every day, that we would overcome hurdles and stride forward. Today, you are striding forward in your studies because of the support you were given, and today we reaffirm that commitment to you and all scholars at the University of Limerick. It was not so long ago when you all began your journey in UL, and as was done on your first day, I will repeat it and commend you for making a great choice to come to University of Limerick, because today we can further celebrate the continuation of that journey. We are able to walk amongst the spacious surroundings of a technologically advanced university immersed in nature. First, for supportive and flexible learning, and we learned a great deal during COVID-19. And while we give thanks that we are able to enjoy our campus again, I would also like to give thanks and acknowledge and credit the work and commitment shown by the UL student body, and indeed by those of you who have joined university through uh, our access routes. As I remarked previously, in choosing to study at University of Limerick, you now have a chance to engage in subjects that are of interest to you, that excite and challenge you, and that will allow you to take full advantage of the UL learning experience. At the start of this address, I said that it was always our focus that anyone who could go to university should go to university. This is constant for us that we want to ensure that the best and brightest students wherever they are, have a path into this university. And here at UL, we will continue to support that. It is essential that our youth should be allowed to take full advantage of the many opportunities that can be found here in the university. In addition, this is a two-way street because in turn, we hope to gain from your ideas, your energy, and your enthusiasm. We hope that you will inspire all students to pursue their ambitions to the fullest here at the university. That is what the mission of the UL Access Office is all about, supporting you. The 24 years supports and encourages people from socioeconomically disadvantaged backgrounds to access and participate in higher education. It has been absolutely vital to foster diversity of talent. Access is about enabling people and changing the system. We must continually improve our systems to improve access. That is not altruism, it is common sense. Let us not forget that in all walks and in all scenarios, diversity is key. Without it, our experience of education is less than it should be. But more than that, 
that populations of bright, imaginative and intelligent young people are being overlooked, then we are solely missing out. UL is a bold and dynamic university, and we are a community of scholars that reaches everywhere, and we will ensure that our community is representative of all. We are proud of our people, from students, both past and present, to staff, both academic and support. We also take great pride in the work of the Access Office. Its initiatives may be broadly categorized into three areas, namely pre-entry school activities, post-entry student support, and outreach work in the community. Every student needs ongoing support to thrive. The UL Access Office continues to be our direct line of support, and I would like to both congratulate and thank Deirdre O'Connor and her team, who deserve particular praise for their diligent and creative efforts to ensure that talented, committed students have no impediment when it comes to higher education. Students who come to university along non-traditional routes are committed, hardworking, and exceptionally able. The path to third or indeed fourth level does not begin at the fi filling out of the CAO form. It's a long process of commitment, ambition, and perseverance. At the outset, I note the importance of educating our youth and allowing them to access every opportunity that there is to offer, especially at UL. So, irrespective of background, race, creed, and gender, education makes it possible for people to stand out as equal with all other persons from different walks of life. Students, be strong, be courageous, and believe in yourself, for that is what true champions are made of. Scholars, I wish you every success and I look forward to congratulating the awardees and hearing from Kiva, who I believe has prepared some words for us. Gorbian Robert.